Hi guys, it's Ben here from Second Dynasty again. Uh, this week we're going to do a update on the Beowulf and let you know where things are on the deliveries for our last campaign, as well as the new campaign we're currently working on. This week, uh, John has provided the final Chimera variants. These are the 1 to 270 and tactical miniatures of our Chimera series. John, what have you got for us this week? Hey Ben, and hello to everyone again. Here's just a few quick updates on what's going on with Deck Designer. There are a few bundles missing, including the Alpha Shuttle, instructions for the Delta, the Starfighter 2-pack, and possibly some I forgot already. We will be focusing on getting those in Deck Designer at the same time we're working on the new version. Deck Designer is a fine name. It worked for what it did. But we have needed to see a change for it. It's not about building a card deck as many people try to assume it is. So I'm proud to announce that the new version will have a name change to 3DO. It'll be launching as a beta next week. What will be different from 3DO and Deck Designer initially? Just the logo. More is to come and I'm very excited. See you next week. Alban has actually moved on to working on a new project, one that we hope to have a fairly quick turnover with. We expect that next month we will be releasing a new campaign on My Mini Factory launch. We want to save our big campaign for this year for the Beowulf, which should take place at the end of the summer. So in the meantime, we plan to revisit some of our pre-existing materials. We started making models in 2017, and since then, our techniques have improved greatly, the fidelity of our models have improved greatly, and even the techniques in the 3D printing world have improved to the point where, for example, you don't need as many built-in supports. So we are revisiting, revamping, and relaunching our oldest materials from Starship 1 and 2. This won't be a pure one-for-one one new version of the old. It's more like taking that concept and modernizing it. Before we finish completely, let's finish up with the Beowulf update. So I've just gone back in and I've added a bunch of fancy details, basically to make it look a little bit more attractive and pop, but really all the work this week has been in deck B. All right, so this is, of course, the front of the Beowulf. Uh, this is my Maya scene at the moment. So we've got quite a lot of detail popping here. We've finished putting the touches on these walls, I revised this piece one more time, adding a couple more built-in supports. I haven't test printed it yet, but we'll probably do that over the weekend. Uh, and yeah, we finished this uh, back wall. If I turn off the shadows a little, you can kind of see the details that we've added in. And then of course we get to the crew commons. I'll put the shadows back on there. Uh, so we have the galley, we still don't have any uh, seating in place yet, but what we have done is go into these freshers, add in a bunch of details. We have very basic, like this isn't the final placement of beds, but these rooms are complete now. Uh, the walls, they're ready for test printing early next week. And of course the, I guess, captain's quarters with its own fresher. Uh, I have revamped. Speaking of uh, redoing our older stuff, this is sort of like, uh, originally was of course from the Starship One. Uh, we have travelified it, adding the same uh, sort of wall, wall style, and we've added a bunch of uh, extra details, even like the sort of uh, here for turning on the shower, the shower head could move up and down to adjust to height. The idea being that the toilet folds up into the wall when you're taking a shower, out of the sink and some mirrors and whatnot. So not 100% finished, but the general uh, layout, yes, it's done. So we'll finally probably just work on the upper deck for things before we move our focus a little bit more to this campaign. By the way, the new campaign, we have picked a name for it, Starship, the next generation. 
anyway that's it for uh, for this week guys uh thanks for tuning in and we'll be back next week with another update bye guys that's it i've run out of things to say now <laughs>